Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Femi Richard. In today's video, I'll be discussing some common UI design mistakes that you should avoid. You need to avoid them, please. Number one, pointless inconsistency in UI elements. To make an app that people can easily use, you need to keep things simple and don't use too many different styles, please and please. When there are too many styles, it only confuses your users stick to using the same pattern and elements throughout your app. Using the same design helps users move around the app faster. When they see the same things over and over again, they get used to how the app works. This makes it easier for them to find what they need and it saves time. In summary, when you avoid many styles and keeping everything simple, you make the app easier to use, you build trust, you make users happy and you help them to find things quickly. That's what UX is all about, user satisfaction. So number two is using the default drop shadow. A lot of people make this mistake. When using drop shadow in your design, you need to remember that less is more, less is better. Using too many or too much drop shadows can make your design look messy and distracting. If you want to use drop shadow, I have some tips here that can help you. Number one, customize the settings. Don't stick to the default drop shadow settings. Adjust them to fit your needs. So by default, Figma gives you a 100% black um, drop shadow color. You can actually adjust it. Number two, keep it subtle. Use a gentle touch when applying drop shadows. Avoid using black like I said earlier and choose a slightly darker color than your background instead. This will make your design look more natural and pleasing. By following these tips I've just listed, you can use drop shadows in a balanced way to enhance your design Make your designs look nice. Remember, a subtle and customized drop shadow can add depth and make your elements look better. Number three, distinction between primary and secondary buttons. When designing your apps, it is important to prioritize important user actions to make it clear and easy for your users. Now, you need to highlight the main buttons. You can make them bold and stand out from the rest. By doing this, you can help your users find and use the most important functions of your app. You can make the primary buttons look different by using bright colors or you can make them bigger. Now, on the other hand, secondary buttons should look less important. They should be visible, yes, but not as noticeable as the primary ones. You need to put that in your mind. This way, it will help your users find them when they need them without getting confused. I need to remember that the way your buttons look is important for users to interact with your app. By using clear visual cues, you make it easier for users to find and use the main actions while still showing secondary options when needed. You need to be able to differentiate between the primary and secondary button. You need to put a distinction between them. So it's not every button that needs to look alike. You can separate them. Let people know the primary buttons and separate them from the secondary button. Number four, lack of text hierarchy text is really important in design everybody knows that because it helps to convey information we need to make sure it is easy to read and understand to do this we need to choose a good font leave enough space between lines and paragraphs and use headings and subheadings to make things clear please let me take this again you need to make it easy for people to read and understand and to do this we need to use a good font leave enough space between lines and paragraphs and use headings and subheadings to make things clear. Yes, let it sink. When text is organized well, users can quickly find what they are looking for. It also makes it easier for them to read and understand the content, which makes the experience better. By focusing on making text easy to read and organize, we make it simpler for users to understand the information this helps us communicate effectively and improve the overall experience for users. So text hierarchy is very important. You need to know how to arrange this text in a way that your users can find what they are looking for easily. They are not confused as to which one is the tall peak, which one is the subheading, which one is the content. It's just, they can tell the difference. So please, we should avoid um, improper text hierarchy or not, not doing the text hierarchy properly. Number five, by the iconography. Icons are an important part of design, especially on mobile. They are like buttons and can be found everywhere in the interface. We all know what icons are. However, choosing the right symbol for each element is crucial. 
so users can understand their meaning. It's important you choose a consistent style also for your icons in your app. So there are two things I'm trying to say here. Number one is make sure you use the right symbol. If it's a home screen, please use the home icon. If it's a settings screen, use the settings icon. If it's a user's screen, user profile screen, please use a user icon. So whatever you're trying to depict, you need to use the right element for it. And number two that I'm seeing here is use consistent style. So if you're using solid icons, please maintain solid icons. That is called consistency. If you're using outlined, make it consistent. Thank you very much. That'll be all. I still have five more I'd like to share with you. But please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with other designers. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.